Let me switch gears for a moment. I want to bring in Trump 2020 National Press Secretary Hogan Gidley. All right, Hogan, can we expect some kind of TV appearance from the president today? I'm not going to get ahead of anything the president may or may not do, but he obviously engaged with the American people while he was actually in Walter Reed, letting people into his hospital room, talking a little bit about what he had learned uh, about the virus uh, from his doctors and also through his own experiences. So we look forward to him getting out there as soon as he, as he can. But I, I would like to note that question you just asked. I saw last night someone tweeted out, we didn't see the president all day. Where is he? Why isn't he out? Just the day before, he was out, and the same reporters were saying, why is he out? How dare he be out? So it's like they can't do, uh, you know, anything. He can't do anything right in well, their eyes. Hogan, I, want, I don't want to play devil's advocate here, but I think the people want to see our president and see how he's doing, and you do that. Sure. Not with a phone call or a tweet. You do that with on camera. Yeah, absolutely. And, and look, there's no one more masterful at it than this president. But uh, how and when that happens and, and what it, form it actually takes, uh, I'm not going to announce on your show, although I know you'd love to have that exclusive. Yeah, I would. <laughs> I'd pay good money for that. <laughs> but I can't bribe you. I understand. All right. Take that's, a look at this. True. We've got a CNN poll. Okay, CNN. But it puts Joe Biden 16 points ahead of the president. Uh, other right. polls show a widening in Joe Biden's favor. Now, I often interview you and other people in the campaign, and they say you're seeing something different in your internal polls. Will you share those internal polls with us now? Uh, not on this show. Again, I'm not going to break any news, I don't think, or at least I hope I don't in this interview. But uh, the fact is our internal polls have us leading ahead or tied uh, in a lot of these battleground states needed to retain the White House for another four years. People want peace and prosperity that this president was able to deliver uh, in the first term, and they want a second term of that. Also, what you see out there is a massive enthusiasm gap. People are registering to be Republicans in these battleground states, two to one, three to one, four to one in some instances. People want to get out and vote for Donald Trump. No one's excited about Joe Biden. I mean, the press don't even like Joe Biden. They just hate Donald Trump. So we expect our folks to be ready, chomping at the bit to get out and vote for this man. And, and, and they appreciate what he's been able to do. I mean, their lives have been improved because of his policies, regardless of race, religion, color, or creed. And uh, we expect them to get out and vote for more success from this man. Okay. Will you admit to being a little worried? when you see a 16-point gap in Biden's favor in a CNN poll. Just a tad concerned? I, I'm not concerned for the future of the president, and I'm not really concerned for the future of CNN, considering they've been on a downward trajectory ever since his president got elected and even before. So I'm not worried about it at all. No, we're in good shape over here. The people out there are so enthusiastic. They're so excited. And uh, we look forward to another victory and shocking the world again on, uh, on November 3rd. Um, I understand you pulled ads out of the, uh, the state of Iowa and out of Ohio. That's the information I've just received. Why are you doing that? Because those are key states where the race is very, yeah. very tight. Why do you withdraw your ads? Well, we've, we feel good about our position in both of those states. The president's record on the economy, for example, resonates really well in places like Ohio and in Iowa with what he was able to do for farmers, ranchers, and manufacturers. Uh, we're looking really good there. Biden is even going into some of these states now because he's trying to buy this election. He has no ground game whatsoever. We have conducted millions and millions and millions of calls and voter contacts. We've built something that is the envy of the entire political universe on this campaign, being able to reach voters in a way that Biden never thought about doing, and he still isn't doing. They announced last week they may start some door knocking out there, which is kind of funny because they accused us of killing people while we were doing door knocking. So I guess by their standard, they're guilty of premeditated murder. But the well, fact is we have people on the ground in those states actually working to get people out to the polls and vote to register. As I said before, they're registering to vote for us at a much higher clip than they are to vote for Democrats. So we're real excited about that. Well, you didn't break news for us, but you did play the hyperbole po uh, card there, right there with the murder and the death and the no door knocking. Talking. But, you know, that's their lie. That's their lie. I mean, Democrats aren't known for logic, but by their logic, that's absolutely what they're guilty for, for being honest. You know, you got that one in as well. Hogan Gidley, come and get and see us soon. I want news broken absolutely. by you next time you're on this. Program. I'll bring I'll bring you a nugget next time, Sue. I promise. How about Ooh. that? You're on. Thank you very much. All right. Hogan. There you see go. You soon. All right. Sure. All right.